More clashes on the streets of Brazil, the biggest in Belo Horizonte, where the latest Confederation Cup match was being played. 60,000 people tried to march on the stadium and were forced back by police. Tear gas and rubber bullets were fired. After the match, supporters struggled to leave the ground. There were other protests across the country. In Sao Paulo, crowds rallied once again. Social media, still the way the word is getting around. In Salvador, there were demonstrations as Brazil beat Italy. The high cost of the World Cup is one of the biggest complaints. It seems the mass movement gave its first response to Dilma Rousseff's televised address. The president appeared on primetime TV in an attempt to stop their momentum. She promised to spend all the country's new oil profits on education and to bring in foreign doctors to improve the health system. I just think that she's trying to calm down the people because of the, the violence and the, everything that is happening now. I don't know who the head of the movement is, you know, so I don't know what they, they're thinking and we have no direction because of this. We need a, a leader. And that's been obvious at some of the demonstrations, people fighting amongst themselves. Opportunists, they're shouting, accusing political factions of trying to take advantage of the crowds. We need uh, an agenda, we need an, a leadership that could find a way out of the streets. Otherwise, we could uh, degenerate into more violence and rioting and the, uh, and the disengagement of people in those movements. Protests are breaking out all over Brazil. Some small, some large, some peaceful, others violent. They're being organized locally or by social networks. Uh, this emerging mass movement certainly has some momentum. Alice Alita, BBC News, Rio de Janeiro.